In this example, we'll show how to set up the notification plugin using UD Mobile. To follow this example, please find a switch which can be toggled from within UD Mobile. Select the Switches menu, then select Notifications. If the notification plugin has not been installed, UD Mobile will ask if you'd like to install. Close the admin console if it is open on any PC. You may receive a notification showing the notification plugin has started. After plugin installation, you will be directed back to the home screen. Select the switches menu, then select Notifications. If the notification plugin has not been configured, UD Mobile will ask if you'd like to configure the plugin. Depending on your firmware version, synchronization with UD Mobile may be required. Select the Switches menu, then select Notifications. UD Mobile will now show a list of programs which contain this switch and the notification plugin. If no programs exist and you'd like to add a new notification, click the Add button at the top. Clicking the Add button will instruct UD Mobile to create a program which triggers a notification when the status of the switch changes. After the program has been created, go back to the home screen. Toggle the switch and we should see a notification. The notification plugin is now configured and working. We can now open the admin console to see the notification plugin and any programs created by UD Mobile. Click the notification controller to see the plugin status and expand the controller to see the UD Mobile node. Clicking send message will send a generic message to UD Mobile. Now let's view the program that UD Mobile created. Note the program name is the same name as the program in UD Mobile. UD Mobile used the if condition status greater than or equal to off so the program is triggered whenever status is changed. The then section of the program contains the notification plugin send message command. I will now show you how to create your own notification content. Click on Configuration Customizations, then click the Add button. I'll create two new customizations, one for On and one for Off. Add a subject and body for each customization. Be sure to save the customizations. Go back to the Programs tab. Change the If section to only trigger when the switch is turned on. Then press Update. Now change the notification content to the light switch on customization we created earlier. Then press Update. Add the light switch off notification to the else section of the program. Be sure to save the program changes. Then go to the main tab. Trigger the switch and we will see the content created in our customizations. If you'd like to change any old emails or text messages to the notification plugin, go to the programs tab and do so now. Select the program which sends the notification, then click Send Notification in the Then section. Change Notify to your devices. Select the Notification plugin, then change the content to Match. Be sure to save the program. Your old email program has now been converted to the Notification plugin. If we reload the list on UD Mobile, we will now see the old email program in the Notification program list. If you'd like to upgrade the notification plugin, click the ISY launcher, then select Polyglot. Any browser warnings can be ignored by clicking Advanced Proceed or changing HTTPS to HTTP. 
Click Plugin Store. Find the notification plugin. Click Purchase next to the standard version. You will be directed to ISY Portal for Purchase. Log in using your ISY Portal credentials. After purchasing the plugin, you will be directed back to Polyglot. Select Install next to the standard version. Then select Reinstall here to replace the free version with the purchased version. You may receive a notification showing the plugin has disconnected, followed by a notification showing the plugin is reconnected. We can now trigger the device to verify the plugin is working. 